Hi all, my name is Shravya Reddy Billa. Today I'm going to present on the topic automatic chocolate vending machine. Okay, we are going to see the steps like contents, flowchart, hardware components, software components, specification modeling using UML, conclusion and its differences. In the contents, first of all, we are going to see the, see the purpose. What is the purpose? Here, purpose is to sell the chocolate store and ACVM from which children can automatically purchase the chocolates. And the payment is done by inserting the coin in the coin slot. And here, we have the inputs like coins and user comments. And the signal events and notification, here each port generates an interrupt on receiving a coin at input. Each port interrupt starts in ISR, which increases the value of amount. Each selected menu choices sends a notification to the system. And here we have our outputs like chocolate, refund, and display of the menu, time, date, and welcome messages. In the function of the system, a person sends command to the system using GUIs. Here, the GUIs consist of LCD, keypad, and touchscreen. And when the child inserts the coin for the cost of the chocolate, and the machine delivers the chocolate. If the, co if the coin are of more amount than the cost of the chocolate, the excess amount is refunded along with chocolate. Here, USB wire modem enables communication to ACVM owner. Here, in the design matrix, we have power dissipation and power deadline. In the power dissipation, it is as required by mechanical units and display. In the power deadline, Machine should await for a maximum of 30 seconds for the coin and the machine should deliver the chocolates within 60 seconds. And the next, this is the flow charts. In this flow chart, we can see the we can see how the coin is inserted and how we'll get a chocolate in the below. Here, there is into which the child insert the coin for buying a chocolate when the coin is inserted, the mechanical system directs each coin to port 1, port 2, port 3, respectively. When port is receives a coin, the port is generates an interrupt. The interrupt signal sends to the corresponding read port for reading the coin value at the port to increase the value. Here, the machine should have a LCD screen, keypad and touch screen. Right, at right hand bottom side. ACVM has the ball, collecting ball, where we can collect the chocolates and the excess amount, excess amount or a refund through port deliver. The buyer also collect full refund or excess amount at the ball. It should also pos possible to reprogram the code in the system ROM or a flash memory when we have following reasons like when the price of the chocolate increases or the message line or a menu needs to be changed or machine features change or MUC was with the artifice used in the ACVS. And this is what we have discussed, we have seen now. And this is the block diagram of ACVM where we have keypad, microcontroller, and LCD display, power supply, USB, wireless modem, coin, coins channels, chocolate channel, and mechanical coin slot. And we have a software specifications like keypad input read display to deliver the chocolates and it also reads the coin. Here we also have TCP IP st stack processing communication. Here the messages to be updated and displayed on the LED modification in the machine. Here, inventory control is required for the vending machine. Suppose when there is no enough money or we don't have an item in the machine, the machine must display the error message. And this is the UML diagram of the automatic chocolate vending machine. Here, in this, we have three class diagrams in the ACVM system. That is ACVM devices, ACVM output ports, and ACVM tasks. In the ACVM devices, 
in the ACVM devices, a device in an abstract class from which the number of external classes deliver for the device to handle the ACVM mechanism. Here, we have the devices like keypad, a display, a wireless modem, and the coin input devices. In the ACVM output port, an ACVM out output port is an abstract class from which the number of extended classes delivered for handling the output port at ACVM. In the ACVM task, we have two extended classes. They are ACVM system task and ACV ACVM system ISR. In the ACVM system task, we have the six systems system task from task one to task n. In the ACVM system ISR, we have ACVM ISR task one through ISR task m. In the hardware architecture specifications, we have it includes microcontroller 8051, 64 KB RAM, and 8 MB ROM. And we, are, we have also have 64 KB flash memory, keypad, mechanical coin slaughter chocolate channel, coin channel, USB, wireless modem, and power supply. And here, and in the hardware specification, in this, with this version, memory and ROM larger than 64 KB are, re, are usable. Here, the item be ROM for the application code and device code that manages the task scheduling. Here, user preference and contact information, user data birth, are stored in 64 KB of flash memory, which is a part of ROM. For serving the hardware interrupts, there are eight hardware interrupts and eight interrupt vector. We also have the programming, which is 8051 timer, which works with a one microsecond resolution. If the owner wants to retrieve the ACVM uh, status update and to remotely control the ACVM, TCP IP port offer internet broadband connectivity through a wireless USB modem. Here, internal circuit uses 12 volts, mechanical system uses 5 volts, and electronic system uses 50 microamperes. Here, in the, at the last, in the conclusion, we'll get the results like chalk results or the outputs like chocolate, refund, display of the menu, time, date, and welcoming messages. I took these from the references, from these two references. Thank you. Thank you all. That's all for this presentation.